weekly star of Dan Wooten tonight, a very good friend of mine, Rebecca Reed, as well as Miss England 2022, Jessica Gagan. Uh, Jessica, first of all, welcome to the show. And uh, I'm loving the tiara. If I was Miss England 2022, I would always look like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, really, really, uh, really uh, great, great news that you, you uh, won it this year. Um, first of all, why did you decide to participate in this competition, Jessica? So originally I was scouted for the competition last year and I didn't win. But I realised that there's a lot of girls that look at these competitions and I am very passionate about inspiring women to go into STEM careers and become engineers and pilots because I have a degree in aerospace engineering. It's a massively male dominated industry. And I thought I can reach a lot of girls by going forward in this contest, regardless of whether I win or not. And that's exactly why I did it. Uh, indeed. Do you feel or have you felt exploited by the nature of this event, given the fact that, yes, uh, they're looking for people with personality, people who are ambitious, uh, but looks, I guess, a part of it? No, not at all. I haven't felt exploited at all because I would say looks are about 1% of it these days. Um, all of the girls that go forward in these competitions tend to have their own inspiring stories, their reason for being there, whether that's raising awareness about a certain medical condition or me educating girls about the skills they already possess to become fantastic engineers in a massively male dominated society. And I think because these contests aren't televised in this country, a lot of people have an archaic view of what they involve. So um, hopefully I can do my best to change that. Uh, Rebecca Reed, would you enter uh, Miss England? You're definitely beautiful enough. I mean, that's very kind, Mark. I am 31 and I've had a kid, so I think that ship has sailed. But um, Jessica's predecessor did let me try her crown on when I did Good Morning Britain with her, which was really fun. I did like wearing the sparkly hat, I will not lie to you. Um, but even if I had, even if I were a lot younger, and I was fairly good looking at 21, I could have done it, I think. Well, not one, but entered. Um, I don't think I would, because my issue with beauty pageants is that I think they're a fundamentally dishonest system. They continuously change to try and seem more woke and less sexist. And actually, for me, it would be much better to just say, do you know what? Everyone likes looking at really beautiful women in bikinis. This is about how you look. Let's just look at really hot girls and celebrate great bodies. What bothers me is when they say, we've removed the makeup round. We've removed the bikini round. It's all about your personality. If it was about your personality, you wouldn't need to be competing against other women. And I think let's separate the two things. Let's have platforms for women to talk about STEM and charities and their careers. And then let's have platforms for women to just go and say, my face is incredible. My body's incredible. Everybody look at me. Yeah, what do you think about that, Jessica? The idea that you just have an honest event, which is for hotties, and it's about their figure, it's about their cheekbones, it's about the makeup and hair, and have another competition for wannabe engineers? Um, I think the point you're making is fair, but again, I think there's a slight lack of education as to what they involve. I think most girls who are in these contests don't expect that to win. They're not there to compete. Um, they're, whether they're there for their own confidence reasons, whether they're there to make friends. Um, obviously, you guys know my reason about pushing the STEM message. Um, yeah, I, I personally, obviously, I think they're fantastic. And I was, as mentioned, scouted last year. And I'll be honest in saying I did have the archaic view as well before I was scouted. I was a bit apprehensive. I was thinking, mm, I'm not really into girls being judged solely on their looks. There's a lot more to women than this, you know? It's about what's in your head. But even if, you know, you're competing because you want to be in a typical kind of archaic beauty contest, um, you know, like, why not go for it? You know, there's everything and, uh, in and I, But I would have... I would have much more understanding for women who say, yeah, I just want to be the hottest woman in the country this year. What bothers me is when we conflate having an important message and being really, really hot. And I think the difficulty there is that I, I, I take your point about archaic views, but I've been, I've been doing this debate for a long time. I've been to beauty pageants. I've interviewed, I think every, or debated with every Miss GB for several years. I do understand how they've tried to reinvent the pageant every year. But the, the thing, the things that, 
bother me remain, which is that it is a competition. It is ranking women on their merit. And fundamentally, these are all women who could make more money and have more power doing this without the organization behind it. Why lend your face and your voice to another organization? Why not have that power for yourself? Uh, well, personally, the reason I got scouted was because I was continually promoting STEM careers. I was using my own platforms already, so nothing's changed there. Me winning Miss England, me competing Miss England, that wasn't my start of promoting STEM careers. You know, I've I've already got my aerospace engineering degree. Um, so yeah, that that for me, nothing changed there. And I think, yeah, that's that's what the contest like. They like obviously genuine. They like people that have got a reason to be there and you know I had the option not to go for it as I say I was apprehensive um yeah. I suppose yeah, I, I just wonder why somebody who is as talented and beautiful as you wants the approval of a panel of judges it's not about that uh definitely not for me anyway speaking for myself I can't speak for other people but for me it wasn't about approval and um, it was about my message as I say I didn't win the contest last year I used the platform the contest gave me to spread my message to gain access to go into more schools because I was already going into schools but me having the platform of oh this girl came second in Miss England or this girl's the current Miss Lancashire a lot of people take note of that you're in a lot of newspapers and a lot of people saw that message and thought wow you know this is really cool because we don't Re have many girls in engineering but I think and that's so that's Re problem, Rebecca right? Rebecca can, can I just ask Sorry. you Rebecca though um do you not think that in your skepticism or criticism indeed of beauty pageants that to a degree you're woman-splaining to Jessica or even patronizing her I don't think so. I think we're disagreeing. Also, she has a degree in aerospace engineering. She, I can't patronise her. I've got a 2-2 two -two in English and drama. If anyone's getting patronised here, it's going to be me. Um, I, think, I, I think what is nice about this conversation is I increasingly see intelligent women debating the validity of these, of these pageants rather than this characterisation of angry feminists shouting mm. at dumb women. Mm. Because that's not yeah. what's happening on either sides. I'm yeah. not jealous and angry, and Jessica is not stupid and vapid. We just have different views on how, on what role there is for women competing yeah. in beauty. Uh